Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start with find S algorithm. So in the last lecture, we discussed about general and specific hypothesis, right? So whenever it is a general means, you are not going to specify anything clearly, like you want this or you want that. Whereas in a specific, you will be mentioning it specifically that you want this. So that concept is called a specific and general hypothesis, guys. If you haven't watched the previous lecture, please walk, go back and watch that lecture and come back, guys. Okay? Yes. So let us start. So basically, the final goal of a find S algorithm is to find the specific hypothesis, guys. So you want at the end, you want to identify the specific things which you need. Okay? So we always consider the true values only or nothing but the positive examples or yes examples only in the find S algorithm. Okay? Yes. So let us start. So, firstly, let us go through the example. After that, I'll be coming back through the algorithm, guys. Okay? Yes. So, firstly, I'll be, I'll be taking an example directly, guys. Okay? Yes. So, let me write the question here. So, I think I cannot show you the full page, right? Okay. So, what shall I do? Okay. I'll be taking a piece of paper and I'll be writing the question in it. And I'll be showing it to you, guys. Okay? Yes. So, it will be a good, right? So, it's clear, right? Or the dots. Okay. So, let me take a fresh paper. It will be better, right? I'll be better folding it because I need to show it in a small screen, right? Yes, just give me a second. Because I just want to note down the table so that you can just have a look at any moment of time whenever you want, okay? So the first thing is a sky, so I'll be representing with the S, temperature with a T, H with the humidity, and W with the wind, W with the water. So there will be some confusions, but it's okay, guys, okay? So let me change it, okay? So wind, water, forecast. Okay, yes. So sunny means yes, rain means rain R guys. Okay, sunny guys, please don't consider the crossed one guys because I was confused in the previous video. So that's the reason why I'm I'm making it again. So warm, warm, cold, warm. Okay. So normal, high, high, high. After that, all strongs, strong, 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 strong. After that, warm, 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 cool, cool, cool. After that, same, same, change, same, 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 change, same. So, this is the given question, right? Okay. So, let us start solving. Guys, you'll be understanding the method. So, don't get worried about it. Okay. Yes. So, the first step that you will be doing is, you'll be giving some numbers for this, guys. So, I'm giving for this equation, for this whole line as 1, for this whole line as 2, for this whole line as 3, for this whole line as 4. So, I forgot to write the final enjoyment status. So, whether they are enjoying the game or not. So, here it is a yes, here it is a yes, and here it is a no, and here it is a yes. So, basically, where did I get this also? That will also be given in the question, the last column. Okay. Yes. So basically, this is the information about the enjoyment game, guys. So in our last lecture, I told you an example about sky temperature, humidity, wind, water and forecast. So based on this, the player's enjoyment will depend. So the same example, we have taken it here, guys. Okay. And clearly, this example is directly from our previous year question paper, guys. Okay. So you can check there also. Okay. So let us start. So the first step in find us algorithm is to write a specific solution. So what is a specific solution? So let us give the denotion as H naught and the specific solution, if you recall, we'll be using this symbol, right? So how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six. We are having six attributes. So six times you write it, guys. Four, five, six. So please remember that in examination, please keep them in single quotes also because in every book they are following it. But while I'm solving it, I'll be skipping this part, guys, because if I keep on keeping them, it will take lots of time, right? Yes. So the first next step which you will be doing is you will be check comparing this H naught with our first value, our first row to result in H1. You will be ending up with H1. Okay. So you start comparing. So there is a small comparison rule you can say. So basically whatever you compare with the phi, phi with the sunny assume in that way, you will be getting sunny guys. So whatever you compare with phi, you get the same value. Okay. So if you compare sunny with the hot or some other thing. So rainy, right? Yes. Yes. Rainy. So if you compare sunny with rainy, you'll be getting a question mark. So basically here it is not specific. So that's what you are uh, indicating with question mark. And similarly, if you compare sunny with the sunny, you'll be writing sunny only. No change. Got it? Yes. So these are the three basic rules you can say. And there is one more rule is that before starting this step, check whether the first value is a true or not. So if you recall, S algorithm works only for positive ones, right? So this is a positive response. So it will work with it. So that is the reason why I will start comparing. So phi with S. Okay. So everything is phi, right? So I'll be writing down by down so that to be clear for you. So phi, 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 phi. So with the sunny, uh, 
warm normal strong warm same right so what will be the result guys it will be i'll be writing below so it will be giving the result sunny warm normal sunny warm s okay strong warm and sunny okay so once you got this result so this is your h1 guys okay so the next step is you'll be comparing h1 with so i think it's not visible right so with 2 okay so basically here 2 is nothing but your second column so your first step will be checking whether it is true or not so yes it is a that is a positive response so you'll be comparing again yes w h s w s so let me write it down here so yes w h yes w s so start comparing so these both are same okay so you'll be writing the same same not same so whenever they are not same you'll be adding question mark they are same 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 right yes so please write full forms in your examination guys please don't use uh, like me shortcuts and all those things okay yes so we got h2 so the next step is h2 with 3 so basically if you observe 3 the third row is having no so hence please avoid it guys directly you can avoid it okay so now your h3 is this only directly so basically h3 is also same yes w question mark yes w s okay so s w s okay so once you got h3 you will be comparing h3 with 4 now so basically this step is skipped indirectly okay so now let us write this also down h w so here we are having a h yes c yes okay so again compare yes w here it is question mark with h so i think i forgot about this so question mark with anything is a nothing but question mark guys so question mark with anything is cast question mark okay so question mark with h is question mark and s okay so w with c okay so this will also become question mark okay and this will become same so basically at the end we got a sunny warm question mark strong question mark same so this is the final uh, hypothesis so that is nothing but the general it's not general it is specific hypothesis which we got guys okay yes so this will be our final result so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this comparisons and all those things right yes so let us go through the bookish way how you need to solve it. So basically you will be writing H0 first. You will be writing the whole 6 letters. Then you will be comparing H0 with the first row. Okay. So you will compare it. And the logic here is I have wrote it clearly. So 5 with the sunny is a sunny. Sunny with rainy is question mark. Sunny with the sunny is question mark. And question mark with anything is question mark. Got it? Yes. So you will be comparing and you will be writing the values. So similarly you got this result, right? So again this result you will be comparing the second row. Okay, so you'll be getting this result and then you'll be getting H2, right? So with the H2, you'll be comparing the third result. As the third is a negative, hence we can avoid it. We'll avoid it, okay? So once you avoid it, you'll be getting same result, right? So here I wrote H2 only, you can write H3 also, it's okay. So I wrote sunny, warm, question mark, strong, warm, same, okay? So again, you'll be comparing this with our last entry, okay? So once you compare this last entry, you'll be getting this. So if you observe, we got the same result. Sunny, warm, question mark, sunny, question mark, question mark strong question mark same okay yes so this is the whole method guys you can say okay so now let us go through the algorithm theoretical part so how you can write in your examination if this is asked for three or four marks to just write algorithm okay so initially so initiate h to the most specific hypothesis so you'll be initiating h is equals to five and so on up to number of attributes so how many number of attributes you are having until that many files you'll be casing okay so after that for each positive example for each attribute in the example, if attribute is equals to hypothesis value, so whatever is there hypothesis in hypothesis, you will not update anything. Okay. So else if it is not equal, then you will replace hypothesis with the general hypothesis that is question mark. That's it. That's the simple logic of the algorithm, guys. Okay. Yes. So if you want some trick to solve in your examination to just to know answer, what is the answer? Okay. So I'll be sh I'll be sharing you a trick, guys. Okay. So the first thing that you will be doing is write down the common things guys so basically how many yeses are there yes 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 so basically strike off this row guys okay so strike off it okay so there's that that row is not there assume in that way okay so now start comparing with the first one so basically is every row having the same one sunny so the result will have sunny only every row is having warm so it will be warm here it started with normal but it went high so basically there is a change so hence it will become question mark again here it is the same so don't compare this row guys remember that okay so these three are strong so again the result will be strong these two are warm but this is cold so hence it becomes question mark similarly everything is same so it becomes the same so this is your result if you compare we got that as the result got it yes this is a simple trick you can say to solve the problem okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about this find us algorithm so in the next lecture we'll be continuing with one more algorithm uh, updated algorithm you can say that is nothing but candidate elimination algorithm before going through that algorithm we'll be going through the version space definition also okay Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.